Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is all going to be about how to purchase less clothes and how to get out of that mindset that you need more and more and more clothes. I really hope this video helps you out and if it does, make sure to throw a thumbs up down below and do not forget to subscribe if you are new here and let's get straight on into it. Before starting the video, I do want to say that I will have timestamps down below which will indicate the beginning part is going to be how to purchase less clothes and then the end will be a closet tour if you guys would like to see how I organize and how my closet has changed since I moved in here. So the first thing that I want to tell you guys that is going to help you out with purchasing less clothes is to go through all of the clothes that you have already. Completely empty out your closet, your drawers, gut everything out and just place it on the floor so you can go through it all. And I'm talking about socks and undergarments. Those are part of your apparel as well. This is going to help you realize what you purchased your money on and what went to waste what doesn't fit you anymore and I know some people are going to think Kira if I go through my clothes won't I feel the need to purchase more it's not exactly what probably will happen once when you start going through all your clothes you will realize how much money you spent on pointless items and you will probably not want to do that again you probably will like to save the money that you wasted so definitely go through everything you have make separate piles as well a donation pile um, have a thrown out pile which things were ripped or you know they cannot be worn anymore stained you know stains that obviously cannot come out mixed match socks uh, underwears that do not fit you anymore and I feel like the thing with undergarments um, bras are a good thing to donate but I feel like underwears if you don't wear them anymore the best thing is to just throw them out I'm not a big fan of like use underwear or giving underwear away you're better off just throwing out the ones you you know are not a fan of and calling it a day on that now a little reminder is that you're not just going to toss away things that are ripped or you don't like you're also going to want to toss away fast fashion items fast fashion items are the items that celebrities wear and everybody wants to buy and they look cute for a remainder of time i feel like if you purchase this top because rihanna's wearing it and you know it's it's in right now a couple months down the road you're like um that is so not in no more i'm not gonna wear it so you tend to leave it in the back of the closet and forget about that shirt completely even though you spent a good 50 to 60 dollars on that shirt fast fashion is something that you definitely want to stay away from especially when it comes to not wanting to buy things anymore when you want to break out of that habit the number one thing that kind of stirs that habit around a circle is fast fashion you see like you know the items that are on the mannequins and you know you see what's in when you go to the mall and you're tempted to buy things so the best thing that I could tell you guys is try to tell your mind no I'm gonna create my own style because when it comes to purchasing new clothes and clothes that are you you're going to want to love your closet more you're going to want to not have that urge to go to the mall spend money on clothing when you get out of that fast fashion mentality and also the saying where it's like no I'm not in style anymore I feel like you can be in style with your own style if that makes any sense I know it's hard to even make your own um, capsule wardrobe or to get into that sense but i will link down my video of how i created my capsule wardrobe i made it a couple months ago so i'll link it down below if you guys are interested i feel like if you get out of that fast fashion mindset it's going to help you not spend any money another thing that's going to help you not spend money on clothes is buying clothing that sparks joy in your life say if you really like this sweater and you're like oh my god it's the perfect color for me you know when i hold it i'm like yes i want to wear this tomorrow I, you you just get happy every time you see that certain shirt, that pair of jeans, you know, whatever the item may be. Those are the items you want to keep in your wardrobe. Those are the items that are going to make you feel like you do not need any more in your closet or in your drawers. I know it sounds super silly, but believe it or not, those spark joy items are the ones that are going to help you stop spending your money. Because if you are happy with what you have already, then you do not have the intentions to go out and purchase more things because you're already happy with what you have. Another thing that's going to help you on how to purchase less clothing or how to stop buying more clothing is unsubscribe to those emails. Unsubscribe to, you know, JCPenney, Fashion Nova. I know they give you those coupon deals and all that stuff, but if you already have a wardrobe or if you do really have a shopping problem when it comes to clothes unsubscribe to all of those emails so you will not get tempted by the online trend going on where it's like 
you know, every Friday is a sale, every Sunday it's even 50% off, every Tuesday it's 40% off. It's funny, here's a little example. When I used to purchase a lot of clothes, a lot of makeup, I feel like nothing was ever on sale and I would always wait and I would always look around and buy things because they would never go on sale and then a week later they would go on sale. Now that I do not purchase anything like that and I'm really happy with all the clothes that I have in my closet, I see sales every day. Like literally, I, I went to the mall the other day with my niece to spend some time with her. Every place was on sale, like 50% here, BOGO sale here and I'm like, this was not like that when I wanted to spend money, when I wanted to spend, you know, $50 on a pair of shoes or makeup, you know. I feel like I always end up paying full price because my intentions were so bad back then where I didn't care and I was getting lorded in even without the sales. You know, now just imagine if you are on your phone laying in bed and you see like a sale going on on whatever site there's, you know, Macy's or Forever 21. And you're like, oh, yep, yeah, I need to buy stuff and it's like one in the morning. Those are the kind of things that's gonna alert you to like wanna buy things is those sale emails. They make them look fancy, they make them look really in your face. If you haven't noticed that sale like price items are in big bold letters and that is to catch your attention and kind of like distract you from other things um but yeah definitely unsubscribe to all those emails this is gonna help you out in the long run another thing that's gonna help you not spend money on clothes i know this might sound a little drastic to most of you guys but what i used to do was mom my obsession was makeup i used to want to buy every palette i seen because i used to watch a lot of youtube gurus and stuff and the thing with that is at night I would definitely try to get my debit card and just start purchasing things, you know, one in the morning, two in the morning because I was bored and there goes my paycheck. What I did back then was I ended up hiding my debit card under my mom's mattress. I know it sounds so silly, but then I wouldn't get the urge to buy things at night because she was sleeping on her mattress. So it's not like I can go in her room and just grab it. And the other thing you guys do not want to do is save your debit cards or credit cards to the site. Every time you check out, they ask you, do you want us to remember this card? Put no. Every time, even till this day, if I need something, because I do buy my vitamins and all that stuff on Amazon, and I always ask, like, do you want us to save this card to your file? And I'm, I always put no. Even though I'm really good with money now, I have a really um, steady mindset when it comes to things like that. But I always say no because it's a habit that I learned so definitely try to hide your debit card Obviously do not hide it in places where you're not gonna find them later on Just hide them where like say you're laying in bed at night or you're doing something hide it where you cannot physically go Get it. I know it sounds so silly, but it worked. I know some people like to even not have debit cards or credit cards or anything like that. And if that's what it takes for you guys to break this shopping habit, try your best to do whatever you can because shopping is definitely an addiction. And I see a lot of people go through this. And it's, you know, it starts off with clothes, ends up with a bunch of home decor, and it's a really vicious cycle. <laughs> now, say you, you know, you got your mindset, you got, you know, you went through your clothes, everything is exactly what you were supposed to do. Now, you feel the need that you need more clothes. So then this process comes in where you need to think realistic. You need to think the weather that wherever you are in, you need to think uh, whatever events you go to. If you go to a lot of events in a month and you work at a really you know, business formal place, you're gonna wanna get a couple dresses for your wardrobe, more like solid colors, because you can wear solid colors more than patterns. A lot of people do not notice that you're wearing the same thing weekly if you're wearing solid colors than with patterns. You want to have a sense of, all right, am I gonna be able to wear this more than five times? I know a lot of people don't like to wear the same thing every time but it definitely helps out your wardrobe when you pick out items where you can wear multiple times for instance I wear this shirt I can go out like this with this shirt and I actually can put my hair like you know like regular like this it looks like a completely different shirt and the next day I can actually just bring it down and wear it more like this so it's like kind of like two different shirts when it does come to purchasing new clothing items to add to your 
wardrobe again. Think of the weather in your area. Think of, you know, whatever events you have. And just, you know, just think of like solid colors more than patterns and local tees and stuff like that. That's gonna help you save a lot of money in the long run when it comes to your wardrobe. And you're gonna feel a lot happier because you're gonna always have something to wear. And the last thing that I want to share with you guys is think of all the money that you are going to save. Every time you feel the urge to go to the store and buy a shirt, think of, say the shirt is $20. Even if it's on sale for five, but you also need other things in the house or you also need a new car or a new phone or things that are a little bit more serious than a new top. Um, when you hold that shirt or you pick it up and you're ready to check out, just ask yourself a couple questions before actually cashing out. Say, why do I need this? Am I gonna wear it more than 10 times? Is this gonna sit in back of my closet? And does it spark joy? So yes, if you are able to walk out of that line that you're gonna cash out in, and you just save yourself some money, put that money in your savings account. Don't give up. Even if you do mess up a couple times, say you you went to the store and you bought an item, don't beat yourself up for it. We're, you know, we're not perfect. So anyways, you guys, now I'm gonna show you how my closet look. It's right over there. Um, I did get rid of quite a few things and more of get rid of the like storage bins and stuff. Yeah, so I will link down below my old closet tour if you wanna see that one. I have definitely revamped it a little bit. I wanted it to be more open space than how I used to have it. I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna let you guys check it out. All right, you guys, so now let's get into my new closet tour. So as you can tell, I have gotten rid of most of the storage bins that I had in here and I gave them to a girl at my job because she kind of needed it more than me. And I decided to hang up most of my clothes on the side. So I kind of like this feel better. On this side, I keep my jeans, which I do only own four pairs of jeans. I own two dark pairs, um, a very light pair. I mostly wear this in the summertime. And then I own some high-waisted ones. And then of course, like, like I said, the two darker pairs. Behind the jeans is my um, tank tops and I have like a one piece um, tank top. So this is not all of my underwears that I own. I have to do laundry. Usually this is um, filled up a little bit. I have about five pairs of um, regular underwears which I guess people call them granny panties. I know a little TMI but I kind of want to be honest with you guys. I like having these kind of underwears for that time of the month and for work. I don't like to wear sexy underwears to work because there's no point. I have my uh, little lint uh, roller thing. I have a little lingerie set that's just for occasions. And I have my um, socks that I always have placed here. I have probably about seven pairs of socks and I have um, some regular, uh, I wanna say hipster underwear, which these I usually wear with my jeans and you know, when I'm not at work. I own three bras and I do have a black lace bra, which is in the wash right now. Moving down here, this is where I keep my photo album. I have a family photo album and then I have a separate one, which is my boyfriend and I, which like is gonna consist of like all of our trips that we're gonna be going on. Yes, I'm old fashioned. I like photo albums. I get all the photos off of my phone and printed from reprints. One of those apps, I don't even remember because I just go on, order them, and that's about it. On this side is just my, I'm not gonna take everything out because it's kind of the obvious. This side is just my um, pajamas and gym clothes mixed together because I kind of wear the same thing for pajamas to the gym. I don't wear those fancy pajamas or those, you know, pajamas that have like the lines on them or like, you know, just those pajamas everyone wears around the holidays and stuff. No, I just wear regular yoga pants or sweatpants to the gym with t-shirts. So I have a lot of those because I've been trying my best to stick to a gym routine, which is like Monday through Thursday, and then Saturday and Sunday, try to do some like at home exercises. Friday's usually my break day. Up top over here is like my um, recording gear. I have a little selfie stick back there. I have my air can, which I use for my laptop and to get the dust off of the um, keyboards. Cause one of my buttons got stuck the other day and I, I thought it was broken, but it was because there was a piece of crumb stuck in that part. And that's why the keyboard was working. So I did purchase some air and I, you know, clean it up with that. So moving all the way up here. Up there is my travel bag and up top of that is my laptop bag. I might get rid of the laptop bag. I'm not sure because I do have a backpack now and it does have a slot for the laptop. 
So I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Right here is my comforter for the winter. I had swapped that out because I do have my um, spring set going on right now. So I swap it out every now and then. I have two comforters and that's all I need. And in that little cubby back there, that is stuff that belongs to the apartment, like other cable wires, other like stove top accessories. And I keep it in there because when I move out, I will put it all back. Those are just things that I don't need, but I do not want to throw them out because I do not want my landlord to get mad at me. So this is all I own for clothes. Uh, obviously I have the jeans and I have this. There are about two or I think three other shirts that are in the wash right now. Um, I believe one's like a gym sweater that I wear and stuff. A couple sweaters and um, some of them have like open backs. I could wear them in the spring and the fall. I have my um, some summer clothes. I will be doing a try on haul and showing you guys everything that I have. I have just a very formal dress where, you know, for an occasion and or like funerals, you know, God forbid, but I think it's good to have a you know, a little black dress always in the closet because you just never know when things are gonna happen. So that's about it, you guys. That is my new closet setup. Oh, and again, I have that little um, desk right there so I can put that beside my bed if I don't want to actually go to this desk. So I do think it's a little bit too much storage for me, but I am happy that I'm able to hang things up. I'm actually really enjoying hanging up my um, clothes. All right, you guys, I really hoped you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Also, comment down below if you guys find any other ways that helps you stop shopping with clothes, shoes, whatever it is, you know, that you were addicted to and that you're not anymore. Put little suggestions down below to help others out because I know I didn't name everything. But anyways, you guys, I will definitely catch you in the next video. Bye!